What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's race day, but we are not racing. Go figure. So today is Sunday. We raced last night at Fayetteville, Stunnerville. Had seven cars. Car, it was a smoke show. It was terrible. If y'all hadn't seen that video, go check it out. It's definitely interesting. We had a blast. It's like racing as always. It's fun. We were supposed to be racing at Thunder Valley today, but the car is just not working good from the back of the track. So we got to make some changes. So we're in the race car trailer. Didn't get a chance to take it out. Don't have time to take it out. I need to get the front struts off of this thing. And they're going out to TRS, Thomas Racing Service. Y'all seen him. He's on a bunch of no prep cars. I talked to him last year and he can make these struts a little bit longer. He said he can get me about two inches of extra travel. And while he's getting me the extra travel, he can also loosen the extension just a little bit. So maybe it's gonna work. So we're gonna take the front struts off of it real fast get the struts shipped off to him. I got two weeks before our next race. We're gonna be at JJ's the boss on, uh, we're gonna be at JJ the boss on, we're gonna be at J, we're gonna be back at Stunnerville, JJ the boss on Friday night, small tire from the front of the track. And then Saturday night, we'll be at Darlington at the uh, Palmetto Corey Stanford's race. So that's gonna be Corey, we're gonna be, blah, 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 blah. So I got two weeks before our next race, uh, Stunnerville. I got two weeks before our next race. We'll be back at Stunnerville on Friday night, June 10th. That's gonna be for JJ, J that's gonna be for JJ the boss's race, small tire. And then Saturday, we're gonna be going to South Carolina. We're gonna be going to Darlington for Corey's race. And so we'll be hitting up the Palmetto no prep from the back of the track. So we're gonna have to make some changes. So hopefully this is gonna help us on both ends of the track. It's hot. You can see I'm already sweating like crazy, but hopefully I can get these off in about an hour. Kind of tight quarters. I had to take the front end off of it. Luckily, when I don't have a smart car in here, it's long enough where I got the front end off of it and I can get the car and work on it. Don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some merchandise, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. So I guess it's a good thing that we are taking this thing off. Um, at some point, you notice, I hadn't really noticed it, but these are a little oily. But when I push that down in there, man, I would say that seal is no good. That seal is definitely uh, leaky leaky. I guess they rebuild them too. I hadn't really talked to them. I imagine they do. It makes sense that when they're fixing it, putting shafts in it, they can also rebuild it. All right, guys, so the struts are gone. They are being sent off. Uh, they went in the UPS today, so they're out of here. He should have them Thursday, and so he'll get those things rebuilt back for us, and hopefully we'll have them back mid-next week so we can work on the rest of the race car. So looking back at Fayetteville, look at the way this car is launching, guys. We got good separation in the back. We talked to Jason at 10 Soldiers Race Cars. Go to their YouTube channel as well, guys. They are freaking putting out great content. It's amazing, the information. But if you look, the way the car separates, the nose comes up. It's a little slow when it comes up, but it does eventually come up. The back separates, and then it starts smoke showing out there. Now, one of the things I didn't really think about, I thought about it, but I didn't really think about it, and it kind of slipped out of my mind. I got those awesome Black Sheep Industry waste gates, and so those things are working phenomenal. Go check those out, Black Sheep Industries. Uh, but the problem not necessarily a problem this is the first time that i've had it on a surface that is slick like this and so they've got the five pound springs in it so i had a little bit too much dome pressure but it still should have ended up i thought it would have took it and but it did make a little bit more boost than what i was uh, trying to, to to make initially the big thing that i was feeling in the car and i remembered the conversation i had with jason at 10 soldiers he said the long parallel four link bars when the upper bar and the lower bar are the same length, that's what you're seeing on the radio versus the world cars. And what it does is it separates good. It doesn't separate real fast to start with, but it does separate. But the thing that it does is the instant center, it actually drives the nose of the car down when it gets down track. And so I think that's what was happening with my car. Look at the videos and that's exactly what it looks like. The car takes off, it hooks, and then 
it's like the nose kind of settles down now compression was full tight on the front struts so it wasn't coming down based on the actual you know the weight of the car i don't think i think it was just like jason had told me super smart dude again go check out their youtube go check out their stuff that they've got on their website it's like they are super smart and it makes sense to me now that that's exactly what's happening down track is the the struts are not coming up high enough and so what it's trying to do is when it picks up in the back it starts plowing the nose starts trying to so i've got it trying to come up in the front and the back's trying to push up the back and push the nose down so i think we're on the right track i think i hope so so we are definitely getting the low prep brackets installed next week so i'm hoping with the trs with thomas racing services with the new struts with the more extension and being revalved along with the anti-squat brackets i shouldn't say anti-squat well they are the low prep bracket brackets from 10 soldiers race car i think we're going to be in good shape that's what we're hoping anyway it's one of those things we'll be back out jj the boss like i screwed up saying about 80 billion times look i just said it correctly that's amazing <laughs> but i think we're going to be in good shape so come check us out we'll be racing this weekend coming up with randy's car we'll be at back at fayetteville stunnerville we're going to be from the front of the track for 28s Gone Wild. So hopefully we have good success with Randy's. But y'all come see us. Check it out, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get some notifications when we post a video. Thanks, guys.